Welcome back everyone. Uh, today my project is a $20 solid wood bed that I just recently bought. Um, I got a really awesome deal on it because the sideboard had some issues that needed to be fixed, but I'm fully capable of doing it and so would anybody watching this channel right now. So I'm going to um, paint it black. I had to sand it down. I'll show you how I did that, but there was some, some stickers stuck here from the previous owner, so I just sanded those babies right off. I'm going to wipe it down, get the black chalk paint on here, and I'll show you how I do that next. Here's the chalk paint I'm going to use. I got this at Home Depot. It's a brand called Deco Art, and it just says chalky finish, so it's not branded as a chalk paint like you could see with Annie Sloan or things like that. But it does the exact same thing, and it's not as expensive, so I just kind of get it where I can get it and use it. Shake it up really good. So, um, as you've probably seen from other videos, it's okay to have a really rough first coat. You're kind of just slapping it on there. And then the second coat and possibly third coat are the ones that you're going to want to do really well and, and a little prettier, more full coverage. But this first coat, though, you do need to paint in the direction in which you want it to look at the end when you're finished. So, I want it to all go in a horizontal direction. If you start mixing your brush strokes, it's gonna look not as good at the end. <laughs> It'll probably be okay if you try and fix it through the second and third coat, but it just won't look as polished, as nice, as high quality of a finish. finished painting the headboard already and I'm going to do the same exact process on the sideboards here and then the foot. As I was standing I found a really awesome bonus feature which is somebody's disgusting used gum stuck on there. Oh not just one but two. There's two already chewed pieces of gum stuck on there. But um, I'm just kidding. So. Uh, the real bonus that I did find was that there's a really awesome, like, aged natural wear finish on the side rails. So I'm going to do my best when I paint it to not paint inside these gouges. I'll just do like a skim coat of paint over the top so that the wood shows through in those gouges. So the sideboards are all clean now. I used a chisel and a hammer to get off my, my bonus gum that I was stuck on there. And then I wanted to show you how exactly, oops, sorry, it's so dark. I wanted to show you how exactly the sideboard was broken, which is why I got it at such a steep discount. So, if you look here, it's missing the lip 
that holds the box spring on. So what we're going to do is we don't actually use a box spring currently. So we're going to move the lip that was here up here. Time to remove the old lip for the sideboard that the box spring will set on. Make sure you use a large enough screwdriver to where you don't strip the head of these old screws. These old screws strip very easily and then it becomes very difficult to get them out. Now I'm going to go take this screw and find a comparable one in my garage because I have tons of leftover screws from other projects so I am 99% sure I will have one that is comparable to this that is not a flathead, that is a Phillips so I can use my drill to put these back on where I want them. For the rest of the bed to dry, I'm going to start pulling out other projects that I wanted to paint with that same black chalk paint. This is going to save me time because now I'm not going to have to wash my brush. I can just go straight from one project to the next and use up all of that black chalk paint at the same time. So, for my other video, I was saying that I was thinking about painting this center part. You see where all the apples and the vines are? I'm going to paint that part black.
Yeah, look at all that glue back there. what was underneath the mattress we just were using a metal bed frame hi Piper this is Piper say hello but uh, we were just using a metal bed frame and then we put some wood on top of that because she has a memory foam mattress so it needs more support since there's no box spring and hopefully we can just reuse this wood on the new bed frame when we bring it in but we just screwed it into this headboard this headboard I got for free somebody was gonna throw it out they were cleaning out their land <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this apart and bring in the new bed and wax it with a ceiling wax, which I've never used before. So this will be a first. It's time to seal the paint on the bed, and I'm going to be using a wax sealant for the first time. I've never actually used a wax to seal wood furniture before because it's not very durable. But since it's going to be indoors, it's not going to be exposed to any kind of warmth or heat or anything like that, I'm going to go ahead and try it this time and see how I like it. Um, I just got, it's called uh, Divine Color by Valspar. It's a, the antique color, so it's meant to age whatever wood you're working with because it's a dark brown color. Um, so I'm, I've never used it before, so if it's not good, it's not my fault. <laughs> but it says you just apply it, you paint it on, and then you wipe it off right away. Wow, it actually looks pretty good. So I got the rag ready right here. I'm gonna wipe it off. So that's good. I like it.
Something else that I also learned about this product is that you uh, you really need to finish smoothing it out in the direction of your brush strokes from your paint. It looks a lot better that way. And um, if you didn't paint, if you're just staining, go with the wood grain. The wait is over, it's finally done, and I'm so excited to show you how it turned out. Please let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. Well everybody, we are exhausted. We have finished this bed and we're ready to take a nap in it. So uh, not bad for a $20 project. I want to say thank you so much for watching and I also want to say thank you to Second Chance Goods for giving me this amazing deal on a bed that just needed some TLC. This is a project that anybody can do as long as you have a drill and determination and some creativity. So I hope I inspired you all to go out and make up your own beautiful furniture for your home for less money than going out and buying something brand new that won't last you a couple of years. So um, thanks again so much for watching. Don't forget to comment. Let me know what you think. Do you like the color? Do you like the finish? What do you feel about wax finishes? I'm interested to find that out from other people who fix up furniture. So um, thanks again so much. Have a great day.